Yeah, hi everyone, welcome to MD Lodge for another week. Uh, yeah, a bit of an indifferent sort of week. Had a couple of horses race first up that I thought went okay. Probably lacked a bit of fitness. They, uh, they were a little bit soft. I was going to toss up whether to trial them or take them straight to the races and uh, I decided to take them to the races and I just thought they were a little bit soft late. So we'll um, now no doubt they'll train on really good now they've had that run under their belt and improve significantly. Uh, I thought Severn Road was okay. He uh, second up over 1900, bowled along in front for young Trent and uh, just probably found wanting a little little bit late so he'll uh, he'll improve no doubt the old boy he's an eight year old turning nine he's still sort of putting out there so he's, he's doing a good job uh Roldana in town the other day i just uh, she's a bit of a victim a really slowly run race um you know when they uh i think the race straight after it ran three seconds quicker so you can see how slow they went but uh, i think one two three around the corner around one two three and she was back last on the fence so um but i thought she hit the line really good sectionals were good so uh i'll take a bit of a fair bit of positive out of that and um, find a similar sort of race and I'll, you know only needs a genuine tempo and she'll be sort of finishing off all over the top of them Okay, now runners this week. Uh, we'll kick off at Pakenham on Friday. Um, now, Macrobius goes to another heat of the uh, Stayer series. He's, uh, you know, he's, he's been great. He's been right around the mark. He's so, such an honest horse. He'll um, step out and sort of bowl along up on the spurt. He'll either lead or sit outside the leader like he always does and, uh, and put his big buffet out and just keep trying. He's a bloody beauty, he is. Um, and then he'll go off to the final in 10 days after that, go off to the final of Synthetic Stayer Series. And, um, you know, he's, he's been sort of around about the mark the last couple of years in that race series. And you would tend to think he's probably going a bit better this year. So, uh, yeah, he's um, right on target there. Uh, Chopsticks, he, um, he raced at Geelong a couple of weeks ago and um, I pulled up with a really bad foot and uh, we've got on top of that. Give him a gallop last week and he worked up great. He'll go uh, back to packing him again over a mile. Doesn't look overly strong, only looks like one or two to beat. So I'd say he's uh, at good, a reasonable price. Uh, he should be, uh, I'd expect him to run a place in that race. So he gets his chance as well at Packenham on Friday. Now, Geelong on Sunday. I've got a little filly that raced and won well at uh, sale the other day called Bjorn Pretty. Now, I'm going to give her a crack at 2,400 metres. She won over 22 and sort of got to the line well. Um, I'm going to throw her in the deep end in a strongish sort of race, just to more or less to see where we're at with her. Um, her work through the week is, um, I would almost say, has improved a bit since, her, since she won. So um, I'm going to give her a crack at a decent sort of race, see how she goes, and uh, if she's um, competitive and on her work, she, she absolutely will be. Um, uh, then we might give her a crack at a decent race in town after that. So, um, but uh, keep an eye on her. Beyond pretty, she's um, um, just in fantastic order. It's funny these sort of. She's been in work for a long time, and she uh, just keeps stepping up. And it's, I know it's silly to say, but she's um, she seems like she keeps improving every run. So, that's always a good thing. Uh, now, uh, probably go uh, uh, Cal Barter, who won well at uh, Sandown the other day. Um, she goes back to Sandown again this week. Now um, goes up to the 2400. That suits her. She uh, won over the 21 and got to the line really strong. Goes to a 2400. Drops about a stone in weight. Um, it's significantly up in grade, but um, you know if we get any sort of rain effect going at all, you know it'll help her. Um, and she seems to be absolutely flying. So um, yeah, that'll be Cal Barter at Sandown on Wednesday. Hi guys, uh, been another busy week, uh, plenty of gals to be done here uh, around the track and plenty of race rides, uh, had eight in the past week, uh, went to Donald Saturday, uh, Warnable Sunday and had three for the stable at Geelong Tuesday where uh, Savannah Road ran a very nice fourth second up uh, with another run under his belt, he should go close next start, he should be nearly ready to win. Uh, for the week ahead, I'm off to Panola uh, on the South Australian border this Saturday. Obviously, had some success on the border last time I went there at Border Town, so looking to uh, repeat that success. I've uh, got four rides at the moment. Um, hopefully, might pick up one or two more before the uh, weekend. So, um, that's all the rides I've got so far, and you can always uh, look in the acceptances and see uh, if I pick up any other rides. So, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, we can find a winner or two at Panola and, uh, in the week ahead, and I can report that to you next week. That's it for another week at Empty Lodge. Thanks for watching. Uh, now, don't forget to get your tickets. Get on to Rob Windmill at the uh, Thoroughbred Club of Geelong. The uh, Geelong Racing Awards Night is on September 21st at uh, Ridges, Geelong. Uh, great night. It's always the, you know, it's the premier night of uh, racing here in Geelong. And uh, we're going to a new venue this year. And we had a look at it the other day. It's a fantastic place. So uh, make sure you get on to Rob and um, uh, get your ticket there. Don't miss out. There's going to be probably 250 odd people there. Uh, and it's always a good night. Um, all the racing fraternity get together. It's always a good night. 
Now, if you are a member of the Geelong Racing Club and you currently get our, um, our weekly video, um, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. As, um, uh, as of August 1, the uh, Racing Club will no longer be putting out our video. So, um, uh, yeah, to ensure you always get our video, make sure you just, just um, go onto our YouTube channel and subscribe. If you can't do that, it's also on our website every week. So um, just click on our website and, um, and ensure that you'll get our video. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, reasonably busy week this week. Um, we're looking forward to seeing how Calabarta goes over 2400. She's, uh, she went great the other day and um, now she's at to her distance. So uh, really keen to see how she goes and that'll probably set her up to see where we're going to aim with her during the spring. So yeah, really keen. Until next week, see you later. Hi everyone, welcome to MZ Lodge for another week. Huge win. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's it for another week at MC Lodge. Thanks for watching. My cameraman's a complete imbecile. <laughs> I suppose we're getting towards the end of the racing season. Jeez, we should um, we should have a lot of runners and finish it off strong. See, happy. <laughs>